Well, welcome back everyone uh, to another video tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at the landing gear warning horn and, and uh, the things that affect when you can and can't uh, reset or cancel the warning horn with the warning horn cutout switch. So first of all, here we are at 900 feet. So the restriction here is 800 feet. So above 800 feet rad halt. So we're over the sea here just to make sure that the terrain's not undulating below us. So as you can see, the rad halt's showing 890 feet here. And uh, flaps are up at the moment. So flaps one, two, five, and 10. So I'm just going to release this at the moment. So here we are at up speed with flaps up. Just going to select flaps one. Through flaps two. Flaps five. And flaps 10. And just reduce the auto throttle speed slightly. So, here I'll just cancel the auto throttle so I can move them. So, here the thrust levers, so the key numbers for the thrust lever. Thrust lever angle less than 20 degrees on two engines or below 34 degrees if you're single engine. Just going to reduce the thrust to closed and you can see that you still get there's no warning horn at all. Auto throttle re-engaged. Just going to reduce this below 800 feet. So here we are again, auto throttle engaged, uh, 690 feet, so below 800 feet rad out. Just going to disconnect the auto throttle. So once again, we're at flaps 10. So this works the same through flaps 1, 2, 5 and 10. And now when I move the thrust lever below 20 degrees or 34 if we were single engine, there's the horn. Okay, so here's the horn cutout button here. So if I press this, there you go. We can manage to cancel the horn. So here we go. Just uh, we've set 100 feet altitude. Just passing through 200. So below 200 feet, thrust reduced, horn cut out, doesn't work. So below 200 feet, you cannot silence it. Move the thrust levers back up and that cancels the horn. Obviously all the other option would have been to lower the landing gear. So this is the first demonstration above 800 feet rad alt, thrust lever angle less than 20 degrees or single engine below 34, flaps 1, 2, 5 and 10, you won't get the warning horn. As soon as you go below 800 feet with a thrust lever angle below 20 degrees or 34 single engine, you get the horn but you can silence it. Once you descend below 200 feet with the thrust lever angles as stated, then you cannot silence the horn. So next demonstration, uh, we're moving on from flaps 10. So we're gonna move on to flaps 15 and 25. And just to demonstrate once with a thrust lever below 20 degrees uh, or single engine 34 degrees, uh, we cannot silence the horn at all. So here we go. Flaps at 15. Just going to disconnect the auto throttle. So manually reducing the thrust. And there's the horn as we go through 20 degrees. And there's the
button as you can see you cannot silence the horn the only way we can silence that we put the landing gear down there you go the horns switched off so here we go once again so moving from flaps 15 to flaps 25 Disconnect the auto throttle. Moving the thrust levers down below 20 degrees. There you go. Horns activated and reset. Unable to work until we lower the landing gear. So, just a recap on that one flaps 15 and flaps 25 below thrust lever angles of 20 degrees or 34 degrees single engine. As you can see, once you reduce below those, the horn cutout doesn't work. The only way to get over that is to reduce below flaps 10 or to put the landing gear down. Okay, here for the last demonstration, then we are looking beyond flaps 25. So landing flaps 30 or 40. Now we're about to see that wherever the thrust lever is, we can't silence the warning horn. So here we go. Flaps 30. There's the horn, unable to cancel the horn, disconnect the auto throttle, thrust levers full forward, fully closed, still can't cancel the horn. Only way to cancel the horn now, land the gear down. silences the horn so just as a final recap then the key thrust lever angles 20 degrees two engines uh, 34 degrees uh, single engine flaps 1 2 5 and 10 above 800 feet there's no horn below 800 feet we will get the horn with thrust lever angle below 20 but we can silence the bell below 200 feet with a thrust lever angle less than 20 we can't silence the bell once we go to flaps 15 and 25 below 20 degrees thrust lever angle we can't silence the bell uh, unless we put the landing gear down and once we move beyond flaps 25 flaps 30 and 40 uh, regardless of the thrust lever angle we cannot silence the bell so i hope that's been a good demonstration for you or, or makes sense please add any comments in the section below thanks for watching we'll see you again on the next video